beauty bunnies welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little bit different i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this look using some products that influencers sent me for free which i'm super excited about they did partner with hourglass in this video i am really excited to show you guys the products that they sent me and again it was completely free so shout out to influencer and hourglass for sending me these products i was super excited when i got this package i did not know what to expect but i am pleasantly surprised with the products that i got so i want to say again shout out to you guys thank you guys so much i'm also going to be showing you guys some products that i purchased a while ago that i just never had a chance to film with and now that i'm a little more settled um i want to show you guys some of the products and like you know just kind of talk to you guys a little bit and kind of catch you guys up on what's been going on so without further ado if you want to see how i got this look right here definitely keep on watching um so what i got from influencer it was from hourglass which i was really super excited about because i've never owned anything from hourglass before and because their products are quite expensive at least you know for me I was just like oh my gosh I was shooketh when I got the packaging I got the vanish foundation stick and the veil setting powder and so they gave me a little card it told me how to apply the stick and the powder which I was really excited about so I actually have the powder and this is what it looks like this is the packaging this is the actual powder it's really really pretty of course when you open it up it has like a little stopper and it says there's an H right there and then you can get the powder out of here I will show you guys how I apply it the way that I like to apply it because like I said before I've used this before already so I kind of figured out how I like it but I'll show you guys one side how I like to apply it and the other side how this uh, little card is telling me how to apply it, the powder at least. And then I got the foundation as well. And I got the foundation in the shade Honey, which I think was a really good match for me. And again, the packaging is really sleek, really pretty. And then you get quite a bit of product in there as well. And it's a twist, a twist up. So I'll show you guys um, like the color match on me and all that good stuff. And then also, I actually got the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. And this has been out for a while now but every single time you go on elf it's sold out and i can never find it in stores so i set a little reminder it reminded me when it came back in stock and i snatched it up as soon as i could i got two of them and i'm happy i did because i actually really do like this primer so i'm just gonna start off with um skin prep and go through all of that i'm gonna be using my elf hello hydration face cream for my moisturizer today as you guys know i've been using elf's skincare products and i've actually really been liking it so far this is something like day four but I've really been liking um, the consistency and the steps are really easy to follow so it's not like I'm struggling to keep up with them I just do them while I'm in the shower which is so convenient for me and I just keep the products in my shower as well I've really been enjoying um, this health hello hydration face cream it feels so good on my face it doesn't smell bad at all it actually smells quite refreshing and um, it definitely leaves my face really moisturized, which I really like because a lot of times it says it'll leave your face moisturizing. Not this product, but other products will say that your face will be moisturized and then your face feels really, really dry. So this has been doing a really good job at moisturizing. It doesn't make my face oily or anything like that. So I'm really happy about that. Next, I'm going to be using the Simple water boost hydrating booster you guys know i've been really loving this i like this under my foundation so i'm just going to just apply a little bit right here i feel like it does blur, blur out a little bit of pores and kind of just gives my under eyes a boost which i really do like so so i'm gonna go in with the elf poreless putty primer and i only used it once but so far i really did like it and i'm actually gonna take the back of my tweezers scoops off the perfect amount for me rub it in between my fingers it's kind of like a pasty consistency and then i just apply it where i need it so i just like to work it into my skin and i just apply it all over i feel like it gives me a really smooth base for my foundation or just for any makeup even if I do like a no makeup makeup look it does a really good job at smoothing my skin and filling in any pores that may be like chilling ready to be visible I just like to apply this and rub it in and even though I feel like it gives me a little bit of a white cast you do not see that when you apply your foundation on top thank god so um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in with my foundation. Now, I noticed that I really like to apply this foundation with a Morphe 
R6 instead of a sponge. I tried it with both. I just did not like the coverage that it gave me with the sponge. I felt like it took all of my foundation away. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply the foundation. Again, the color is Honey and I'm going to apply it straight to the brush. And then I'm going to start buffing it into my face. And that way I feel like I can monitor how much um, foundation I'm using. So as you can see right here I have a little bit of a breakout. I'm just going to take it right here and buff it in. Trailer. Yeah. And I feel like the coverage is so good. And I do blend it down my neck a little bit because I do that with any foundation and concealer that I'm using. Sorry, any foundation that I'm using, I blend it down my neck. So I do the same thing with this one as well. Now, I will say I feel like this is my winter shade. In the summertime, I would need like a little bit of a darker foundation. But for now, this works perfectly fine for me. And then once I feel like there's not a lot, I don't take a lot under my eye or anything like that because I'm going to be using concealer anyway, so there's no point. So I just keep applying it onto the brush and then working it onto my face. And because my brows aren't done, um, I can just work it right through my brow. So that's what the foundation looks like. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cream contour and... Um, do everything all my cream products first so I'm gonna take some concealer this is the elf 16 hour camel concealer and this is in the shade tan sand and I'm just going to take a little bit of this under my eyes and in my highlighted areas and then I'm also going to take the color cocoa rich cocoa and I'm going to use that to contour and I'm just gonna do a little bit because a little bit of this goes a long long way so I just want to use a little bit of it I'm gonna be using this morphe r32 to just blend out my nose this is more of a chubbier brush so I'm just gonna use this to blend out my nose I'm gonna be using this morphe e46 it looks like this and I'm going to use that to blend out my contour So I really like this to contour, even though it's more of the warmer, redder tones. Um, it doesn't look bad at all. It looks like I just got a suntan, which I don't mind. And when I say a little bit goes a long way with this concealer to contour, a little bit goes a long way. It is so creamy and so blendable that it just spreads so easily. I am going to go over with the sponge to um, like make sure everything is blended, but... Yeah, I think this does a really good job at not only warming up my face, but just like adding a little bit of dimension without being too much. I'm supposed to be telling you guys what's been going on. Okay, so I moved to Colorado. Um, it's funny because I feel like I've already told you this, but you guys haven't seen it. So I moved to Colorado. Um, I've been here for a month now. Well, it's about to make a month. And it's been really, really different than what I'm used to like I'm so used to being able to just drive anywhere and do whatever which I can do that here too but because I don't know anybody out here me just driving around just doesn't make sense to me honestly now when Clipper gets here then I'll probably drive around because we're gonna need to like figure out where everything is at explore I know how to get home I know how to get to um the grocery store and stuff like that but as far as everything else is concerned like I just I don't know, I just haven't felt the need to go explore or anything like that. Everything is pretty close to the house, um, except for like the movie theater. It's about 20 minutes away, but I'm used to that because the movie theater was 20 minutes away from where I lived before. So, not a big deal. Um, it's not like we're going to be going to the movies every single day anyway. I'm going to use a sponge to blend out my concealer. But, um, yeah, I just feel like... I really like the house um, it's a lot of space so I still have a lot of decorating to do a lot of like furniture that I need to purchase in order to make the house not feel so big and so empty because right now with even with all the furniture that I did buy the house just feels like really empty so um, 
yeah I'm going to be doing that over a period of time so you won't get like a finished house tour anytime soon honestly um but it is good to just let you guys like keep you guys updated on what's going on especially because I'm gonna be vlogging a lot more I'm gonna be vlogging a whole lot more so um you guys will see bits and pieces of the house as it comes along and stuff like that but um yeah I really like the neighborhood my neighbors are pretty cool I've met a few of them and they're all really chill a lot of older people live in my neighborhood and they're pretty quiet they don't make too much noise or anything like that and they're just like you know let me know if you need anything or they know that I'm here with Chandler pretty much by myself for for quite some time until Clipper comes back from Korea but um yeah they're just really friendly they're really chill um nothing to complain about so far the weather has been a little crazy so one minute it'll be raining and then the next minute it'll be like really really sunny outside which I mean I'm used to to a certain extent it doesn't bother me though like how the weather is like fluctuating I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer on my nose because I feel like I just waited a little bit too long to blend that the weather isn't fluctuating that too bad so I'm not like like what the hell but it is it'll rain for like three or four days and then it'll be like super sunny or hot um, not really hot just sunny so out here hot has been like the mid 70s which in California is like regular weather so I mean it's it's been pretty cool I'm not tripping too much about the weather um, it doesn't bother me at all I like the cold so it's not bothering me at all um, but yeah that's that's what it's been so far I'm still getting adjusted to going certain places and doing certain things and not being able to just go upstairs or go next the door and knock on my mom's door but other than that it's been pretty cool like I like my neighbors they're pretty chill people they're not like overbearing they're not loud they're not rude or anything like that so I don't have to worry about any of that stuff so far and I'm happy so I think this base looks really good I'm gonna take the powder so where's the card okay so I'm gonna set my face on the card it says for the powder you're you're gonna apply the banish stick directly onto the skin or the area that you want most coverage and then buff it into the skin and layer for additional coverage and then for the powder you're going to use a fluffy brush or swirl in the veil powder and apply all over the face or just in the t-zone so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually apply it one side with a sponge and the other side with the brush I'm going to be using my real technique sponge for this and I already like blended out this side so I'm going to just take some on my sponge tap it on the back of my hand so I don't have too much product and then I'm just going to start setting um, and I'm just going to press it into the skin until there's no more and I really like this powder I feel like it sets my makeup really really nicely and it doesn't give me a white cast or anything like that because some lighter powders or banana powders sometimes leaves a little bit of a cast on your face this one has not done that so far so um, I really like it so I'm just going to press it into the skin this is the way I like to apply it because I feel like I get a little more coverage out of it versus just swirling it on to the skin sometimes I feel like it doesn't cover the way that I would want it to cover and again this is how I like to apply this powder so I'm gonna apply this side press in the other side I'm gonna do what it says it says use a fluffy brush so I'm just gonna use this fleshy fluff I'm just gonna use this fluffy brush from AOA Studios it's the F12 it's a face brush that's why it says F F and I'm just going to take the powder and I'm just going to swirl it onto my skin so that's the difference this side again is the side that I use the real technique sponge and I just press it in and then this side I just swirled it onto my face and honestly I think I still like this side better because I feel like it's more like locked into my skin so I'm just gonna take this sponge and just press it in to my skin 
So now that I have my makeup set down, I guess I can apply some eyeshadow. So I'm going to go into the Midnight City by BH Cosmetics. This is their eyeshadow palette and it looks like this. Now I wasn't planning on doing any like crazy makeup, but if I'm here, I might as well, right? MAC 224 brush and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Now this doesn't have any names so I, sorry I can't tell you like the names of everything but I'll just show you what it is. And I'm just going to take that into my crease. I haven't done eyeshadow in since the last video that I uploaded that had eyeshadow in there. So please don't judge me if it's just not what it used to be. I am still a learner. And I need to learn and practice. I'm actually going to use the mirror in the palette because this palette does come with a mirror. And I'll link this palette down below for anyone that's interested. You guys really seem to like my Moroccan... What palette was that? It was the Moroccan palette, I think, from BH Cosmetics. You guys loved that video. Got like 500 views or something like that. So shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for rocking with that video. And that shadow was not difficult at all. It was just like boom, 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 done. And I feel like whenever I don't plan out an eye look, that's when you guys like it the most. So I'm just like winging it. I think I might do something with this shadow and this shadow, but I'm not sure. Don't don't quote me yet. I think I want to deepen it up a little bit. So I'm going to take my MAC 217 and I'm going to go into this dark brown shade right here. And I'm just going to wiggle that here in my eye socket just apply it right there on the outer and the kind of like trace where I'm going to be putting that blue and then I'm going to take that first initial shadow brush and I'm just going to blend it out quite a bit and then I'm going to take another shadow brush. I think I'm going to be using this eyeshadow C brush. It looks like this from e.l.f. And I'm going to take that blue shade. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Dewy Misting Spray just to wet my brush a little bit. I'm going to apply that on my inner. Woo! That thing is bright. That is so pretty. It's so bright, but it's really pretty. I don't mind the color at all. And I'm using the same brush to kind of blend it, kind of like fade it into my um, eye socket because I don't want it to be like so stark of a line. I'm gonna go in with this lighter, kind of like brownish color. And I'm just going to wiggle that here to kind of blend it out a little bit. And this is the e.l.f. 205 brush. And I'm going to take this darker shade right here. It's more of a like silvery blue situation. It does have a little bit of fallout because it is glitter. Um, so don't mind that. I'm just going to apply that to the outer of my eye. And honestly, when you blend out that blue shade um, without like, just with a clean brush, it starts to get a little silvery. So I think this kind of complements that shade. I'm just going to wiggle my brush back and forth right on where that blue is just to blend it and then I'm going to take that same blue brush blue <laughs> blue shadow from before and just intensify it more towards the inner corner that went smoky really fast that's crazy okay. So I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics V20 brush. You guys know I love these V20 brushes. And I'm going to take this same orange shadow right here. And I'm going to just run that on my lower lash line. And this one you kind of have to build up a lot. 
under the lash line. Um, I don't want any harsh, like, dark colors under my lash line, so I'm just going to use the same orange. <sighs> that really escalated quickly. But I kind of like it. Like, it's not something that I'm accustomed to doing, so don't drag me in the comments. Uh, but it is something a lot different than what I'm used to doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my brow real quick because I feel like that will kind of, like, you know, tie it in together. I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow to just do something with these brows because, Lord, it looks crazy. And the only, the only reason why I don't um, use the razor to clean up my brows is because I'm scared that I'm just going to do way too much and then I won't have a brow. My brows look hella crazy. I'm going to clean them up. Oh, I actually got a, um, in my Morphe boxes, I got the Morphe R44 brush. It looks like this. And I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer to do something with these brows, honey, because these brows are looking crazy. But that's what happens whenever my brows don't get done for, like, it's been like two months low-key. Um, it looks really, really crazy. So I'm just going to use this brush to clean up my brows. I'm going to do some liner, but before I do liner, I want to set my brows down. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Wow Brow, and I've really been liking this to set my brows. Um, it's a lot lighter than what my brow is, but it just allows you to see the hairs a little better. But a little better. I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. This is also from Jkiss and e.l.f. Now, this eyeliner got messed up. I don't even know how, but we're going to try to make it work. Obviously, it's a blue eyeliner. I'm going to apply some lashes. I do have these Eyelore and Nikki Philippi lashes, but I think they're too, like, chill for this. I think I need a thicker lash, so I don't even know where these are from. I'm going to apply my lashes, do my other eye, and I'll be right back on camera to finish off my face. Okay, so I decided to put on black mascara on my bottom lashes. Um... I don't know, just for me, it just made it look better. I'm going to go in with my face and I'll finish with the eyes. I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit. Now you can see this middle shade has been left. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just warm up my skin just a little bit. Don't mind my sleeve. I've been bouncing back and forth and I was cooking. So I probably have like gravy or sauce or something on my sleeve. I really like the shade to contour and warm my face back up. So this situation right here is working my last nerve. I'm going to go in with some highlight. Where's my highlight brush? I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Blushing in Bali palette. And I'm going to use this for blush and for face highlight. So for blush, I think I'm going to stay in the little coral tone situation. I'm just going to apply that here. I might mix in a little bit of pomegranate just to kind of deepen it up just a little bit. I really like this blush and highlight set because the blush isn't too much. Um, the shades are really nice and it's pigmented. It lasts a pretty long time. It doesn't fade as quickly as other blushes that I have, so I really do like that. That's ease blush. I'm going to just take my sponge and just tap over that to make sure everything is just blended in really nicely. I am also... I'm also going to take a little bit of this e.l.f. blush. This is um, always fiery because it's a little more on the coral side. I think it's going to blend better with like my eye look, so I'm going to take it on this AOA Studio F. 20 brush and it's very pigmented so I want to be careful to not apply too much just apply just a little bit like so and then again I'm gonna just take this sponge and just tap over it 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my face really quick. This is, again, the e.l.f. Dewy Misting Setting Spray. And then I'm going to apply my highlight. For highlight, I think I'm going to go in with Sunkissed. Sunkissed? Yeah, Sunkissed, which is this middle shade right here. And I'm just going to... Apply it. It's a little bit of a glow. I'm gonna do some on my nose, just a little bit, and then some down the bridge. Some right here, and then some here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit above my brows. And then again, I'm going to take my sponge and just tap over everything to make sure everything is blended together because the worst thing you can do is have unblended makeup. It's just like, wow. For lips, because I have such a dramatic eye, for lips I'm going to go super basic. So let me get my lip. So for lips, I'm going to try this combo. I've actually never had this combo before, but I'm going to try it and see. This is the Beauty Supply Store. Beauty Supply Store. Lip liner and espresso. My my lips. This is the Fancy Beauty and Unbuttoned. Whenever your Fenty Beauty um, like lip products sit, the ones in these tubes, do they ever separate on you guys? Because if so, like, what's going on with that? Ooh, I actually really like the like soft in the middle and the like darker lip liner. I'm looking for my Fenty Beauty gloss. I'm going to use the regular uh, Fenty Glow lip balm or gloss balm on top. I have to apply that because it gives me a nice little like to my lips. I really like this lip combo. I'm going to take some of my Micro Smooth from Sephora. This is in the shade Tan and I'm just going to buff this over parts of my face where I feel like it might be a little separated. Because I really like how this just melts all my makeup together. This is a new step that I've been doing with my makeup and I feel like it just makes such a huge difference. I highly suggest you guys grab you some Micro Smooth because it does make a difference. And I'm going to hop off camera, do my hair, and um, put some clothes on. And then I'll come back with you guys. Come back to you guys with the final look. And this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I just wanted to freshen up my skin a little bit. So I did go in on top of my highlight and my inner corner highlight with the Maybelline Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. I used that for my, of course, my inner corner highlight, my brow bone highlight, and then just to freshen up my skin a little bit. And then I did use my e.l.f. Dewy Misting Spray after I went in with my Micro Smooth and my powder, I mean, sorry, my sponge to just tap over. And I I think it really made my makeup look really good and really smooth uh, overall I really do like the foundation I think it has really good coverage It's definitely buildable and I feel like um, I can get full coverage or I can get medium to full coverage I feel like if I still want to be able to see um, more of my skin and less of like that foundation -y look or mask um, that foundation the hourglass foundation is a really good because it definitely gives me the buildable coverage that I would want in certain areas and more of a skin like finish in other areas I think the powder did a really good job at setting down my makeup um, not letting it go anywhere it ha it's not sticky at all and I feel like it makes my like 
overall face look really really seamless so I really do like that I feel like the elf poreless putty primer is, uh, fill in the pores that are like right under my eyes where sometimes the foundation may settle into those pores and then you can really see them I think it did a really good job at filling those in and um, I like the consistency it didn't bother me that it felt more like a paste consistency um, when I put it on my skin it just like like my face looked like a baby's bottom it was super smooth so I really do like that overall I am very happy about the products that I use the combination worked really well um, I think all of these products worked really well together even with my elf camel concealer usually I don't use that to contour but I did get a darker shade just to see how I would like it to contour and I think it did a really good job at contouring it blended out really nicely it gave me more of a suntan look which I really do like and I love the fact that that lip combo the um the dark brown lip liner and the Fenty like unbuttoned in the middle with the Fenty Gloss Balm on top. I think it looks really really good. Especially with this look I'm definitely vibing with it. And I do actually love this Midnight City palette. Um, I think they have a lot of really pretty colors. Colors that I don't have in every other palette. And um, I definitely want to play with it some more and see what other looks I can come up with. So I love the fact that this has warm and tool comb tool cones. I love the fact that it has warm and cool tones in this palette. So if I want to do more of a smokier look, I can use a smokier look. If I wanted to do more of a just quick little easy everyday look, I can do that as well. This blue shade right here it really caught me off guard. It is very vibrant and I love the fact that the pigmentation is definitely there. Um, I didn't have to wet it, but I did choose to wet it when I applied it to my eyes. I love the little sheen that it gave on my eyes. It gave me kind of like a wet look in a sense. So I do think that these shadows are very pigmented. They were easy to work with, very easy to blend. And the color combination is really, really nice as well. So that is what I have to say about this palette. Overall, I'm really happy about this look. It was really fairly easy, even though it is like it went dark really quick, very smoky very quickly. Um, it is a very easy palette to work with, and this look is really easy to accomplish. I just paired it with this like orangish dress. Um, this dress I bought at Nordstrom, ooh, I was pregnant, so about almost four years ago I bought this dress for a wedding and um, if I can find the pictures of Clifford and I because I had bought him a shirt to match my dress um, if I can find those pictures I'll insert them so you can see like what the dress looked like and all that stuff but yeah I really do like how this look came out I think this even with the pop of blue looks really really good I think orange and blue um, paired together works amazing um, it's definitely not a color that I would be so used to using but I am happy that I did use the blue instead of like for example something more neutral like one of these colors here which I would be so inclined to use I'm always used to using like these type of shades but I wanted to dip into the shade and the shade and I'm happy I did I think they worked really nice together it's definitely something different and I hope you guys really do like it so again thank you so much for watching I hope you guys really enjoyed this video you guys got all caught up with me you guys got to see what was going on or where I've been or I got to explain a little bit I also got to open up this influencer box from Hourglass thank you so much again influencer for sending me these products completely free I will leave all of influencers information down below in the description box so don't forget to subscribe and check the description box for all the details on this look and how to achieve this look but other than that thank you so much for watching I hope you guys like comment and subscribe and tell a friend and tell a friend to tell a friend to join the beauty bunny family because we are growing in 2019 and we would love for you to be a part of it and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye